Once we start studying integers, we eventually have to be able to do bed mass problems involving integers. Here is an example. We have negative 3 plus, and then we have a large bracket. Inside the bracket, 6 divided by negative 2 minus negative 5 plus 1. We have a bracket, we have a division, we have pluses and minuses, and we have several negative numbers involved. If we apply the rules of bed mass and apply the laws of integers, this should be no problem. Do one thing at a time and write a new line for each operation you do. Bed mass says brackets first. So we are ignoring the negative 3 plus, and we are starting our work with this bracket. Keep in mind that I put a bracket around negative 3, but this isn't a bracket as an operation. This is a bracket that is there just to stop me from missing this negative sum. It makes it easier to read. There's no operation inside this bracket. In the large bracket, we have divided by minus plus. Bed mass says we have to do division first. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. And then we copy down the minus negative 5 plus 1. Close our bracket. Next, we're still inside this bracket. And our next operation is either the minus or the plus. We get to the minus first, reading from left to right, so we're doing it first. We have negative 3 minus negative 5. Applying the laws of integers, negative 3 minus negative 5 is the same thing as negative 3 plus 5. Negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2. So we write the answer positive 2, and then we copy down the plus 1, close our bracket. Now we just have a 2 plus 1 in the bracket. 2 plus 1 is 3. I write the answer. I don't need the bracket anymore. And we have negative 3 plus 3. Again, applying the laws of integers, negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. That's our answer. Let's do another example of bed mass involving integers. This example has a lot of brackets involved. We have a big bracket here, and then a divided by, and then a big bracket. 